Hey guys, it's Cosmo here for Pop Culture Renegades, your local friendly tabletop gaming host, and I've brought you gifts. Alright guys, today I'm going to be talking about a game I think I've needed in my life forever, the Labyrinth board game. Now if you haven't seen the Labyrinth, this is something you should probably do. It's a cult classic made by Jim Henson. It stars David Bowie as the Goblin King. Totally awesome. And it has Jennifer Connelly as Sarah. She's our protagonist. She goes on an epic adventure on her way to the Goblin City to take back the child that Jared has stolen, her baby brother Toby. So, we're hoping that this board game is going to follow the same story that we've always loved, and as I've delved into it, I think it's going to be a winner. Now, this board game is being made by a company called River Horse, and they're teaming up with Jim Henson Company to make sure it's solid. Now, River Horse has made a couple other board games that are based off of movies. They did Terminator Genesis and The Hunt for Red October. And they've got a couple more coming out in the future, which I'll talk about later. So, the Labyrinth board game is going to be a four-player game, but they're going to give you five minis. Now the fifth mini is going to be Jareth the Goblin King. You don't get to play Jareth because he does whatever he wants and he moves the stars with no one. But the other four are playable characters. Now, if you're into minis and painting minis, this is going to be a treat because the sculpts on these are pretty awesome and you get to paint them if you want to. The four playable characters are going to be Sarah, my personal favorite superhero, Hoggle, who is, you know, Sarah's friend, you got Ludo, the big friendly giant, and Sir Didymus, riding Ambrosius, his awesome dog. Now when you actually play the game, there's two stages of gameplay. The board game comes with some empty spaces on it, and at the beginning of every game, you're going to draw from a deck of cards to put random encounters in those spaces. Now that's really cool because you know that the labyrinth is one of those wacky places that you don't really anticipate stuff, you know, before it happens. It also means that every gameplay is going to be totally different, and you never know who you're going to encounter. You might run into some fuzzheads, or maybe a worm that misleads you along the way, but every time is going to be different. Now, our characters are going to battle their way past the labyrinth, but once they get to the Goblin City, we enter Phase 2. Now, Phase 2 involves our characters battling their way through the Goblin City to get to the center, and once we find Jareth, we need Sarah, the main character, to say the magic words to get back Toby. Of course, the whole time you're competing against the goblin clock. Now that's going to be ticking down over time. And if you don't manage to save the baby before the clock goes down, he becomes one of the goblins forever. And you know, that's such a pity, but you guys lost. In this board game are going to be some of our favorite locations from the actual movie. We got the Oubliette, we got the Bog of Eternal Stench, we got the Goblin City, and we got Jairus Castle. So already we're off to a good start. We're also going to have a full set of dice, D4 through D20. I don't know about you, but a whole set of Labyrinth dice is going to be pretty cool for me. I'm hoping they're awesome and not just a bunch of random plastic ones, which you know we all have and still love. We're also going to have our character sheets because every character is going to be different. They're going to have different abilities as they go through the Labyrinth. Now, all these are awesome, but what we really want to pay attention to are the 32 Labyrinth cards. Those encounters are going to be really important for kind of reflecting the game and the movie in a way that we love. We want to make sure that some of our favorite scenes from the movie show up in the board game. So I'm really looking forward to the helping hands or maybe that scene where they come up to the two doors and they have to solve a riddle. I'm hoping they got the rights to cover all those things because those are going to really help with our nostalgia feels. <laughs> but um, I think that we can trust this, this company to make a pretty good game. River Horse has made uh, you know, other games before, but at the same time that they bought the rights to Labyrinth, they also got the rights to My Little Pony and The Hunger Games. So if they do well in the Labyrinth board game, they might also do well in these other ones. We don't have a solid release date for any of them yet, but they're all supposed to be coming out around the same time this summer 2016. So I'm gonna keep my eye on them. Hopefully I can grab up those other games as well. And as soon as I get them, I'm gonna share them with you guys because we're all excited for My Little Pony and The Hunger Games board game. But top number one Labyrinth board game is gonna be my favorite. So as soon as I get it, I'm gonna play it for you guys. All right guys, that's all I got for you here today. My name is Cosmo from Pop Culture Renegades. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if there's anything about this board game that you're nerding out over, let us know in the comments below. And until next time, when you're fighting your way to that Goblin City, just remember, they have no power over you.